Hey guys, what's up? We're gonna be doing a different way of uh, going over the maple leaf. Now, I told you guys I was gonna go to my local field, my home field. It's literally my second home, I love them. And each time I went, they were so nice. They got me to field to shoot at Cajun. And each time I did, I went there and did it, it, it failed miserably. It just, I got tired of it. And it's just, you know, I've been busy, so I, I come and I try to go there, I try to hang out, try to work on guns, and try to try to film. So I, it's a lot going on, and I failed each time. You know, I told you guys I was trying to shoot with the stock lock, and you know what? It, it was stupid, because each time I went and I tried to use propane, it's just, it would light strike. And then I'd bring you my custom guns, and they would light strike. It just, I gave up. So what we're doing is we're going to do a controlled PSI. We're going to shoot at 100 PSI. Um, I'm running off my compressor right here. We're gonna do the for the first part of the video We're just gonna compare stock TM hop-up uh, FPS at 30 gram BBs to Maple Leaf, right? We're just gonna do an FPS test and the second part you'll see is in my backyard and um, I'll put a video I'll put a picture of how far I'm shooting first Before we get to that section and for the test we're gonna be using uh, these 30 30 grams extreme uh, tronic airsoft um, shout out to vindicate airsoft I, I hope I said it right now I'm pretty sure that's who gave it to me they gave me this bag of BBs sorry for the noise I, I'll live right next to a busy street but anyways um, and uh, shout out to the sponsor extreme tonic so I'm excited to try these out I'm a huge fan of uh, pink BBs and I've been running the the Wii 28 for the longest time, I think they've been the only heavy pink ones, and now we got a new one, and they're finally at 30 grams. So I'm excited about that. But let's, we're gonna load this guy up. We'll uh, chrono at 30 grams, and it's only 100 psi, so it shouldn't be that high. Because uh, propane is just, you know, like, you know, it can get really high, but then you start having problems. I would say if you're like a uh, a uh, a Glock nut, and you know, it's your main. Uh, what the gap there? <laughs> that annoys me. If if you if you main the Glock, and you don't mind HP at all, go get the HPA. It's just because you can control it. You're gonna have very little problems with light striking. When you start using green gas propane, that's when you start having all the problems and you get the headache. All right, in here is. This is a brand new uh, stock TM. Shout out to the customer for letting me use it. Um, he's going to be upgrading it for a guns modified project, so he just said go ahead and use it because we'll be getting rid of this stuff anyways. Um, but anyways, hop up. Let's see, is it already on hop? Okay, hop up is on max setting. Okay, we're just going to shoot a couple because we don't need to since. Can you guys see this? Let's see. Can you see it from there? I think I think you guys can see that from there. But if you got a big screen, okay. I, yeah, I can. <laughs> you know, the other thing that sucks is, is, is when I was filming at HSP, I, I couldn't tell if you could see the BBs or not. It's just I can't tell until I get home, and then like I did it a couple of times when they you know did work, and it just you couldn't see the BBs at all. So I'm hoping to God you guys can see. The BBs when I shoot in the backyard because I, I refuse to do this anymore. It's driving me nuts. Alright, 275. 274-265. Two seventy. All right. Let's say on average. Do they have an average down here? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> All right. We're gonna switch to maple leaf. And then when I go outside, we will uh, do stock first versus um, maple leaf. And I can tell you guys right now, since I've already shot it a couple of times, it works really well. Um, I'd almost say it works a little better than the uh, just a traditional setup. I don't know what it is that does it. I feel like it's this more than the barrel. The barrel, just based on what they say, they're saying that the FPS, from my understanding, is okay. Let's say you shoot 10 feet, but uh, let's say you shoot 50 feet stock TMs, 50 feet, 
maple leaf and maybe at, at 50 feet this is 100 it's going 110 you know feet per second in theory this should be shooting faster than this one that's from my understanding if i'm wrong correct me guys i'm not the smartest guy in the world that's for sure but anyways uh this do maple leaf all right it is max um it's really it's really tight it is really tight on the um loading nozzles it's uh it's really tight on the uac loading nozzles so i'd actually be careful you if you guys did that it literally destroyed my uh like it didn't break it but it just it pulled out my loading nozzle it was so tight which i've never seen before but that's what happened okay we're getting stuck here okay who's hitting me up okay all right maple leaf oh come on all right still got some in here One in the chamber. Let's go. Is that 270? 276? 275? 274? 274? Uh, that's, is that 10 shots? Yeah, that's not 273. Roughly about the same. It, it doesn't seem like a big increase in uh, FPS. Probably what I should do is turn off the FPS, but I don't think we care about that. I think what we want to see is the range, and I, I think you guys want to see the hop up and how much it curves up at the end. Now, I'll tell you right now that the TM suffers at the end with 30 grams. So in this move to that, I will show you first my backyard distance. And then the next part is we're going to be just shooting. You guys have to listen to me. I'm going to be shooting in the shade. I don't want to be shooting in the sun. It's hot as hell today. All right, I'll see you guys around. Hey, guys, what's up? All right, we got the stock TM hop-up. I know you guys can't see very well. It's in the shade. But you're just going to have to trust my word. This is the maple leaf. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that this is brass. You can probably see the red in there. All right, there you go. So stock TM hop up is going first. Max hop up, 30 grams. These are the pink ones from Extreme Tronics. Let's zoom in. You see that post office box? I'm gonna be aiming straight at it right now. So my sights will be lined up at the post office box. So I'm hoping you guys can see the BBs. I'm going to be shooting to the left of it now. I don't know if you guys can see, but at the very end, past the table, it starts dropping. And you'll see in the, you'll see in the picture how far we're shooting. I'm going to shoot to the left in the fence right here, where my finger is. You see a blurry finger? I'm going to aim there. Uh. Let me take off. Okay, I took off the orange cap. Oh. All right, guys, we had a mag, mag problem. All right, there we go. All right, back to the post office box. All right, I think that's enough. Let me zoom out, guys. I'm gonna put some more in. We shot a couple. So stock Tim, you guys can sh you, can, you guys can hit a man-sized target from 50 feet, no problem. You should be able to hit an arm, something like that. But watch what happens when I put the the maple leaf in. The maple leaf is insane, and this is 30s and not dialed in the only thing we have to really test but i don't know how i would need like one of those paintball chronos or something but to see how the fps is halfway through or you just try to use your eyes and see if it looks like it's 
maintain his speed, but that's that's pretty insane to uh, take a guess at that. All right. We are in. It is max hop up. There's two things. Oh, I'll, I'll, after we're done shooting, I'll talk about it. All right. Check this out. Up. Oh, I right, put two in. <laughs> All right. I will be doing the same thing, aiming straight down. I will be aiming straight down the sights at the post office box. I'm pretty sure you guys can tell by sound that I'm not even hitting it. It's hopping up past the, it's not even hitting the post office box. It's hopping right up, straight up into the tree. I'm gonna shoot to the left and at the fence. I'll be shooting from here, this area, hopefully so you guys can see it. Cause I can't even see it on a viewfinder. It's driving me nuts. All right, coming back in. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shoot at, I'm gonna be aiming at the bottom of the table right here. See if I can hit the post office box. Up. Oh, I'm out of BBs. Let me put a couple more in and then we'll call it a day for this video. And I'll talk about sir, some things I did. Are you, you guys hear me shooting it? That's me aiming at the bottom of the table. And we are out. Let me zoom out. All right, there's two things I have to do. Let's go over it. Uh, I'll see if I can, uh, let's see if you guys are okay with me moving the camera into the, into the sun. Because since we're done shooting, I can move it in the sun so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to pick it up. Uh, okay. You guys see this? Let me see. Oh, no, I'm still in the shade. Let's move up. Why am I still in the shade? Okay, there you guys go. This front part, I had to lock tight it. Okay, it it was it came off a couple of times when I was shooting the gun. So if you guys buy this barrel and you can pull it off with your hand, you know this easy. I would recommend you lock tight it red. I just I uh, did red lock tight, and then the wheel. You know, this is hard. You see the wheel. I put an extra o-ring underneath it because before without two o-rings it sort of moves with vibration or shooting it they just they're not I don't know they changed the design on the this is mine no is this mine I don't know on one of them it's just the, the design is different from the original one I don't like it so put an extra o-ring in there or put some uh, plumber tape to make it a little tighter because it moves for vibration other than that uh, hit me up if you guys want another video I'll think about maybe going to HSP and trying to shoot in 100 feet, but I don't know, 100 feet with a pistol is pretty crazy anyways. So take it easy guys, I'll see you around.